Welcome back, everybody, and we're going to continue exploring this bleak, dark world. Uh, I'm not really sure which more I can do here. I know there was a raft path, uh, yeah, right here. And we're going to explore on this side, but uh, if there's nothing left to explore using the items I've already found from the uh, Dungeon 5, we're going to go back with, now that we have eight bombs, and we're going to tackle those Manhandla yet again. And I... I guess I need some sort of hook shot or a long jump or some sort of item. But uh, definitely I can't get here without a ladder, so there's got to be something over here. Let's check all these bushes. Uh, this is just the swamp. Ooh, what's this? Oh, goody! We can actually buy super bombs here. I don't... I'm not going to do potions, because this is no potion run, but I'll definitely buy a super bomb, just just to have it in stock, you know, just in case. Alright, let's see what we have here. Okay, there's that's the swamp, level 4. I know there's a heart piece right there. Looks like the only way to get to it is possibly by whistling, so let's see if my hunch is correct. Oh, look at that. Ooh, got it. it. And I should not have picked that up. Ah, crap. Okay, I got one more mistake. Freebie mistake. If I get up to four hearts, then I'm screwed. Ah, alright. I gotta remember, don't pick up these heart pieces. Acquire them, like, in a pseudo sense, but don't really acquire them. Ah. Anyway. Let's uh, warp to here, because I know warping to the third dungeon takes me not really to the third dungeon. So, this is the closest thing I can get, I think, to World 5. So we got to go back to the Dark World. And I think we got to go left and then up. I think that's where we need to go. Whoa, that was a close call. Man, there's not a lot of variety in these screens now that I'm kind of traversing it over and over and over again. I mean, I've only memorized the route just because I've just gone over it several times already, sometimes off-screen, sometimes on-screen. But, uh, yeah. This is, uh... Okay, like, there's some variation here with the mountains and stuff and the rivers, and so it is a little bit different here around the swamp part of the Dark World, but, you know, somewhere in the middle... You know, each screen can kind of end up looking like the last. Kind of confusing if you're trying to find landmarks and stuff. Now, let's see. Now that I'm here, I think now that I have the ladder from level 5... There is a heart piece I think I could- oh, good gosh! Uh, I think I could get. Oh, goodness, heart. And that's from... I think I need to go a little further right here. If I recall... Okay, yeah, the heart piece was this way. My goodness, you stupid Lynels. And there we have it. We have acquired this other heart piece, but I must remember not to touch it. Okay, but I'll check it off the list. So it's another heart piece down that I have acquired. Quotations. <laughs> and there's a warp here that should take me near level 5. It'll be so much easier once I have a, a warp. Uh, whistle warp that can warp me to at least in the mountainous area over here. That would speed things up considerably. Ugh, so unpredictable with some of these mountain rocks as they fall. They could fall pretty much anywhere from the top of the screen. So yeah, we'll have another whistle warp here once we beat level 5. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this at all. 
So we're going to go down all nine floors. So I'll see you on the other end. I'll splice cut here. So see you at the boss. So yeah, this uh, this boss was just as I feared. It was absolutely awful. Um, it starts off with two manhandlers, which I actually killed one miraculously on my first bomb. And then it was the second manhandler, which totally, you know, annihilated me time and time again. That was my first death. And the second death, I made it all the way down. I had to restock my bombs. Uh, I did no better, but I did find out that the second manhandler did not come back, which was a good thing. So that just left me with one manhandler to, you know, destroy. But I got killed by my own bomb there, so that was my own stupidity. But, you know, I panic. And this is the third time, third time's the charm, as they say. But I have some very, very bad luck. As you'll see, I will have beaten the manhandler, but then on my way out, uh, I don't fare so well. So that's just a cheap shot, in all senses of the word. Yeah. Oh wow, I have gone down this dungeon so many freaking times. I know exactly the routing to get there, but the only bomb you have to use is uh, at the dungeon, just to open up the pit to the dungeon boss, but... Whew, thank goodness, level 5 is freaking complete. That was a nightmare. Did I ever tell you how much I hate manhandless? <sighs> wow, that was a Triforce piece well earned. I mean, now that I'm thinking about it, the dungeons so far haven't been overly taxing or difficult, but the bosses, man, the bosses, they, I don't know what she was thinking, but some of these bosses are a little bit overkill based on the equipment you have. I mean, the manhandlers on their own wouldn't be too difficult, but she included, like, some fireball shooters, and she had that stupid ice physics in the middle of the room, which slowed down your speed considerably. That was just one messed up room. And, uh, yeah. I mean, I guess giving you the blue mail, if you were able to find it, it's kind of a saving grace for that fight. Because that would be near impossible on a three-heart run. Jeez, oh, man. So now, what do I have to do? I'm trying to figure out what more I can do before the next dungeon. I think I explored everything I needed to in the last video with the ladder and the red candle. So... Where do I go? Okay, I think... I think the next dungeon, if I remember correctly, was in the... Kakariko, or sorry, Kakariko, ha, huh, the Dali Village. I'm so used to the mainstay Zelda titles, that's what I call the village. <laughs> but I'm, I think it's in the Dali Village where the Dark World equivalent is, the, is like a graveyard or something. So I think I'm going to check that out, because I know I saw a dungeon entrance there. It might be level 6, it might not. I didn't really enter the dungeon, because I didn't really want to start a new one without at least completing the old one first. You know, I'm kind of a completionist that way, I kind of want to do everything that's available to me first before I move on ahead. Kind of a, both a blessing and a curse at the same time. Now, how did I get to the Dark World? How did I get there? Uh, was it inside the village? Hmm. I remember that entrance right there. That's like a mini dungeon of madness. Okay, I remember now. It was over here. It was behind, I think, the lower right bush. There we go. Uh, yep, there it is. The Dali Graveyard. And let's see, what else could I do with my ladder? Candle... Nothing. 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 Okay, I don't think I can do anything. So let's just get straight to it and go straight to Dungeon 6, I hope. I mean, it requires the ladder anyway just to get in, so maybe... Level 6, Death Even Catacombs. Ooh, even the music sounds. <laughs> Hookshot, Lens of Truth, and Boots! Wow, this, this dungeon's a treasure trove. My goodness. Oh dear gosh. 
Oh my, oh dear. Oh my goodness. Ah! Where's Roseanne Gibdos? Oh, get away, get away, get away. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow, this is gonna be an it. This is gonna be a thing. Yes, this is. Because uh, Gibdos take forever on wooden swords, so I'm gonna use my arrows as like a white sword, kill off a few of them, and be very mindful of these stupid whizrobes. Oh, good gosh. Whew, skip you, whizrobes. Aw, oh, jeez. I can already tell this level's gonna be. This level's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be most of my deaths. <laughs> uh, and I don't even get... You know, having a white sword and having no access to the magical sword in a three-heart run is going to really suck. Especially in the next few dungeons. Especially if this is... Dungeon 6 is like this. I hate to see what the next two dungeons are like. Oh my goodness. Oh, get me out of here. Ah! Oh, no. Oh, wow. Oh, just. And I am not willing to touch that sand. If level 3 experience has taught me anything, that sand is bad. Sand is super hot. Let's go south. Oh, gee. Oh. Wait, why did that hit me? I had my magical shield. I call shenanigans on that one. <sighs> wow. Now there was a chest on the right side of the room I died in. Let's see if there's a bumble wall over here, because I didn't see any other method of getting. Haha! <laughs> Ooh, tricky, tricky, tricky. Hmm. That was just for a compass though. No big deal. But that is tricky putting a secret inside an info room. Uh, trust nothing in this quest. I'm just gonna let those Gibdos live for now. Apparently I need boots for that, because the spikes didn't go down when I killed all the Gibdos. And this is a hellish room. Okay, let's see if I can do better this time. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. I'm, like, totally freaking out right now. Freaking, freaking out. I'm like, why are you attacking me? Oof, cleared it out. Let's go this way. Oh, my goodness. Ah! Stupid Stolfos. Well, this is off to a great start. <laughs> and this is only floor two of three? Uh, something tells me this is going to be a rather long, large dungeon. This is going to be a pain. Uh, okay, get out of my way, Dodongo. I do not want to bomb you today. Let's keep going down the path I've been going until, you know, common sense dictates otherwise. Oh my god, Ooh, good thing some pots were here. So without those pots, I wouldn't have a safe area. Wizard robes are pretty much a one-hit kill for me, and that's just never a good thing. <sighs> Talk about tight quarters. So this is quite the open room, but in reality, it's kind of a closed room because of the sand. Oh my goodness, get back from me, you stupid ropes! Oh. My. Goodness. That is... Oh my goodness. That is a huge floor. One of three. Uh, that looks like hookshot. So, I have to remember, go to the bottom left once you acquire the hookshot. Got it. Bottom left hookshot. I think I'm going to have to jot this down after I finish this video. Bottom left hookshot. 
because already I'm kind of kind of getting lost. Like I'm not really sure the routing here. dungeons really require you to just explore everything. Okay, so there's nothing in the pots. Got it. Just a pathway through. And I'm stuck requiring a key. Okay. Something tells me this is, if I get any keys, this will be the first place I go to. So also, bottom left, any keys that you find initially, come here. Okay, so the bottom left is kind of important. So I don't really want to go upstairs yet. I want to explore everything on one floor first before I move on. So let's check this route. Oh gosh. Okay, this puzzle isn't too bad. You can easily trap yourself from going forward, but not if you really think about it. And I'm totally gonna skip you two like likes. Huh. Okay, the entrance to that room has got to be from the north. Probably a bumble wall or something. So I gotta remember, it's the upper. Oh, go oh, I wasn't even paying attention to these enemies. <laughs> They're dark nuts. Okay, get out of here. Get away. I'm not even gonna bother killing any of you. Wooden sword sucks. I mean, I could use my wand, but apparently, based on previous levels. Magic is used heavily, and I don't really want to be out on magic. Especially if the only way I can refill magic is either enemies drop jars, or if I have to use a potion, which I said I wouldn't do. So, fooey. Uh, okay, there's a shutter down there. Got it. So let's see if I can kill all these ghosts and see if that'll open up the shutter. Okay, how about any of these? No, nothing. Okay, so that's a one-way only. Got it. Ooh, that hurt. What the Oh my good- Oh, you're kidding me. Wizard of that summon bats? Oh, you're kidding me. And wait. Am I in the same room? Oh, jeez, that's a maze room. Gosh darn it. I don't even have the path either. So, screw that nonsense. Let's continue exploring floor 2 or 3. That's odd. A that little center section with a doggo. I'll have to investigate that further once I get the boots. I'm assuming the boots protect you from the sand. I mean, it would make sense. Seeing as it's a harmful surface. Ah, there's the Lens of Truth. Out in the open there. Oh gosh. Ooh, easily detectable bomb wall. I'm gonna bomb it. Oh yeah. And secret ruby room. Not exceptionally helpful, but I'll take whatever I can get. Oh my goodness. Is this one way? all the bats and find out. Oh, come on. Thank you. Get back here. Okay, so this is one way. I can't go back that way. Oh, jeez. Ah! Get away from me, dark nuts. Get away. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I am stuck in here with two... Oh, jeez. No, no, no! Oh, gosh! Oh, no! Oh, jeez! Ah! This is impossible! Oh, my gosh, that is impossible! How do you- how are you supposed to beat those stupid whiz robes? <sighs> now, there was a key... ...and a chit. Okay, so I'm two rooms to the left. He thinks there's a bumble wall here. Or is it walkthrough? Ah, walkthrough. Okay, so level six is when he starts introducing these things. Okay. 
Okay, so it could be Bumble, it could be Walkthrough. Let's try walk. Okay! And our first key, and screw you, Wizrobes. I'm not even gonna bother with you. You two are nuts. Not even going to bother. Okay, so I was right. There is no entrance into the bottom room from this one. However, it looks like the hook shot gets me to the door there. So I guess once I get the hook shot and find some more keys, I should probably head over here, though we're right. Hmm. Okay, and that just brings me... Okay, that just brings me there. Okay, got it. I've come full circle. Man, you wizards are freaking me out. That's not too bad. I have actually explored the majority of the bottom level already, and that was just taking the loop around. There's a lot of areas that I have to remember to come back to, though. Stuff that requires the hook shot, stuff that requires the boots. I don't even know what the lens will show me. You know, I, oh my goodness, I just noticed floor one is just as big as floor two. This is going to be a thing. And I think floor one is going to be all dark rooms. And I think that's how it's going to be. Ah, oh, three maze paths. Uh, I guess I have money for one. Down, right, right, left. Okay. I'll go back and watch the footage later and write that down. And, oh, sure enough. Trust nothing. Another info room secret. And that's our hookshot target. Awesome. So, gotta come back here with the hookshot. And I have 40 more rupees. Let's find out another maze path. Up, up, left, left. Okay. I'll write these down after I finish recording just so I have it for reference. Yep, I was correct. This is all going to be like dark rooms. Okay, that's not a bombable wall. Let's try the bottom route. Skip all you ghosts. You're meaningless. Wow, this is pitch black. Let's get some light. Ooh! What just happened? What? Okay, I'm gonna go back to that room. I have no idea what just happened. It's like a big, massive, empty room. What the? F okay, yeah. The difficulty spike, I see it now. <laughs> Level 5 was a gradual increase in difficulty. I'll admit that. It wasn't exceptionally hard. But, oh, get away from me, Gibdo. Oh my god, let's get away. I'm just gonna die in this own room. Ugh. I mean, level 5 wasn't exceptionally hard, but level 6. Oh my goodness, this just took it up, like, to 11 or something. Okay, let's check this room out again. If I went straight ahead, I died. So let's go... Okay, invisible death trap? Oh, I guess that's where I need the lens. Ah, there's probably something that I can't see that's like instantly killing me. Okay, so we're gonna avoid that room and come back with the lens, possibly. That's just my theory. We'll see if I prove uh, prove that correct or not. Uh, let's check that northern room again because I think it might have been another walkthrough wall. I think I left a little bit too hastily. Yeah, so let's check this out. Ooh, booyah! That's probably another one right up there. Oh, yeah. Did I call it or did I call it? And look at this! Oh, get away from me. Oh, get away from the door, really? Move, thank you. 
Oh, don't you get near me. And, alright, we got our second key. Awesome. I don't know how many more keys there are out there, but I think I am going to go down to the lower left. Like I said I was going to do, and see if I can start unlocking those doors. Okay, because I apparently can't go any further in the first floor here. Skip you to Dongo. That's, uh, I think it's this top room here. I think the bottom one leads to the hookshot route. Ah, gotta do these stupid light likes again. And that was unfortunate. Get away from me. I do not want to lose my shield at this present juncture. Okay, here it is. Here's the key. Okay, I don't want to go any further because it looks like I'm on my time, so we'll see you later in the next video.